Good day, Leo, and welcome to my channel. This is your weekly reading for April 8th to the 14th. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known. What lessons need to be learned. Ooh. Ooh. Queen of Hearts, Jack of Hearts, Nine of Spades, and uh, the Eight of Hearts. So, all right. Your general energy for the week is the Eight of Hearts. Uh, you're holding on to something and you need to move on and move forward and let go of whatever this is that you're holding on to. Um, yeah, it's going to be painful. It's something painful. It's something that you care about that you're holding on to. And it will be painful to let go of. And it might take you uh, the whole week uh, in order for you to uh, release yourself of whatever this is that you're holding on to. Uh, but you definitely should let go of it. Uh, most likely it's just not it's not benefiting you whatever it may be uh positively you know or positively um at the beginning of the week you have the queen of hearts sincere unconditional love so uh somebody sincerely unconditionally loves you and wants to put a ring on your finger uh so for some of you uh i would be prepared that somebody might ask you to marry them uh, uh, this week, uh, so, and, and if they do, all I can say is that this person sincerely, unconditionally loves you, you know, I mean, there's always some kind of conditions on love, right, there always is, and that's why I don't think that anything lasts forever, because those conditions sometimes can get in the way, but, as much as a person could unconditionally love you, this person does, uh, sincerely. Uh, and yeah, there, there, there may be wedding bells, uh, it, it coming towards some of you here at the, in the, uh, in the middle of the week, you have the Jack of Hearts. Uh, yeah, attractive. You're going to be very attractive, uh, here in the middle of the week, uh, both in business and in love. Um, so like, say you don't have, uh, somebody in your life, uh, maybe there's somebody that you want in your life and, um, this card is saying to go for it, you know, go after it, uh, because right now you're very attractive. Uh, people are finding you very attractive at this moment. So there might be even people watching you, uh, who want to be with you. Uh, so yeah, but this can also be about business. You know, maybe you have a business ideal of some kind or whatnot, and you want to present it, but you're, you might be a little bit worried about presenting it, but this card says, no, go for it. Uh, right now, even business people find you attractive. They find your ideals attractive and whatnot. So yeah, uh, go out, mingle, you know, put forth, take action. Now, if you're an introvert, uh, like so many are now, I mean, even including myself, uh, put yourself out on social media then, you know, if you don't actually want to go out and socialize. But if you have a love interest or a business idea and you have an idea of, of who you want to do business with, now is the time to definitely uh, uh, speak up. So... And also know that there are people watching you. Perhaps people see uh, your business savvy, you know, and they're very attracted to it. And they're wondering if you want to uh, get in on something. Uh, and there is probably people watching you that are wondering if you're wanting to get into a relationship or not. Uh, but for a lot of you, I feel like you're already in a relationship. And this person is going to ask you to marry them. So, uh but, like I said, this can be about business, too. But either way, you are very attractive. So that, that really makes, you know, uh, a day or two very comfortable because people want to be in your presence. People want to uh, hang on your words and whatnot. 
at the end of the week there is going to be the death of something now that can be the death of a person but most of the time is the death of something the death of a relationship the death of an idea the death of a job you know uh there's just going to be a death of something there's going to be it's going to be something that just kind of dies you know within you or around you or whatever uh but the thing is is that whatever it is has been causing you fear and worry and nightmares and and other problems and by it dying it's going to relieve you uh of these things so in the end it's not going to be a bad thing but at first it will be because this is most likely something that you're very connected to and the death of it uh is going to affect you you know emotionally and whatnot so uh not to say that you know it's going to be easy or whatever but uh as time goes on you will see that uh it was for the better you know it was for the better of you and whatnot let's see what the uh, tarot cards have to say universe speak spirits guide what needs to be known what lessons need to be learned Ooh yeah, look at that. You got the magician. So yeah, right now you have all the tools in front of you to create, to build a life, to, to make things happen. You know, uh, you are the magician. Uh, you just need to put forth the action, uh, which I would definitely say is here. I think, I think you have some kind of business uh, ideal, honestly, for a lot of you, especially the ones that already have somebody in their life uh, who wants to marry them, I feel like your attractiveness is based on some kind of business, and the magician is saying, yeah, you have the ability, you have all the tools in front of you uh, in order to create something amazing. Um, also, uh, the the thing that you're holding on to it possibly is what's going to die. You might actually let it go and let it die and go through that, uh, but you'll eventually realize that it was a good thing. But other than that, the magician, yes, the magician says that, you know, use your attraction right now, uh, definitely for business. Uh, that's how I feel for some of you is that it's a business, some kind of business ideal or something. And you do have everything right in front of you uh, to do so. And a lot of times we don't feel like we have what we need. Like, um, okay, so like, let's say... Take me, for instance. I have a camera. I don't have good lighting. Uh, I don't have all the fancy stuff, you know, a way to click around and show myself and show the cards and all that good stuff. But I still went forth with what I have. So basically work with what you have because what you have is what you need in order to create whatever it is that you want to create. Uh, that's how I feel here. So if you have an ideal for something here in the middle of the week, definitely go for it because you do have what you need in order to make make it work uh so and also a lot of you prepare for uh a marriage proposal and whatnot uh and the death of something uh but it's something that you need to let go of it's something that needs to die so there you go i hope this resonates and i hope it helps in some way and if it does hit that like button and if you would please comment share and subscribe i hope to see you back here uh next week and until then stay safe stay mindful and stay healthy